seconds and counting. We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, start. Start. 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Piers Seller, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid-deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. We should have a good forward leg now on S-10. Speed 5,500 miles an hour. Seven miles altitude. 68 miles to the runway. Correction, 22 miles to the runway. Discovery now, three minutes to touchdown. Pilot Mark Kelly taking a turn at the stick. Speed, 500 miles an hour. Altitude, five miles. 17 miles to the runway. Discovery Houston on at the 180. Roger. Discovery on target at the 180 mark of the hitting alignment circle. Commander Steve Lindsay back in control. Three good auxiliary power units. Both air data probes deployed. Speed 450 miles. On 
Discover Houston on at the 90. Roger. Discovery on track at the 90 degree mark of the heading alignment circle. Altitude 15,000 feet. Speed 420 miles an hour. Nine miles and a minute and a half to touchdown. Again, this is the view at the heads-up display. Copy, field in sight. Commander Steve Lindsay reports he has the landing field in sight. Speed 309 miles an hour. Altitude 6300 feet. Four point five miles to the runway. All systems looking good as Discovery comes in for a landing. Thirty seconds to touchdown. your touchdown. Discovery's crew completing a 5.3 million mile mission to restore the International Space Station to an assembly ready status and prov proving that they can use a 50 foot long boom as a heat shield repair platform. and congratulations on a uh, great mission, expanding our knowledge and experience with orbiter repair and bringing the space station back to a full crew complement. We have no immediate deltas to post landing and we'll meet you on page 5-3. Thanks, it was a great mission, uh, a really great mission and uh, enjoyed the entry and the landing and we're uh, going over to 5-3 now.